breath after opening 160 crates last week uh, for videos. I was doing 50 crates separately and not getting Duke Kaboom, e.g. Keanu Reeves, this event comes out. I spent about 2,000 diamonds on it, load all my stamina potions, and he was just at the top. <sighs> he was just at the top. So all of that diamond crate opening was not worthwhile. So let's let's get in and actually finally unlock Duke Kaboom, guys. Finally unlock him. There he is, Look, and all of that is good as well. I'm hoping some of that's going to help level him up. But um, let's just get straight into Duke Kaboom and get him as leveled up as possible. Because I want to try and max him out in one go. Oh, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. cool. Oh, he's already higher than a few. Okay, so we can straight away get the quick promotes in. I'm not going to bother showing you it until we get into orange territory, guys, because nothing really happens. I have 600 stamina to get that. So I'm, I'm probably going to be a bit stuck here. So um, as far as um, evolving him up goes, but let's raid this anyway. Um, let's get this done. Then I can go in and actually get his XP up and take a bit of a closer look at him. Because I want to put Duke Kaboom in my team, probably over Scar. Because Scar is a good character, guys. I just think he's a little bit... Um, I think he's a little bit underpowered. So my cow is escaping out the window. There you go, all dead. So that's relatively easy, which is good. Why is this so loud all of a sudden? My... Cool. So now that's gonna open up and I'm just gonna slowly try and get the, garg the gargoyles, guys. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna get loads of crates here. Oh, I got enough of that as well. That was lucky. So let's um So I got 40 skill points here. Let's get everything to a somewhat decent level. So there you go, so we've got him up a bit. That's obviously going to take a while to level up. Um, I want to straight away get involved. Oh, 120. So I've, I do need to get to level 120, which is a little bit annoying. But let's craft all this stuff and get, and get it on him. So this is good actually because I was talking about trying to get as much Hades as possible. Because I do quite like Hades and I want to max them out. Right, so... Didn't I just... Didn't, did I not just buy that from the... Ah, yeah, it's gone straight in. So that just, once again, guys, means that I can promote him up. It's purple four. Let's take a look at what we've got here. So he's, he's on 30,000 X. So this, I've got none of his... Um, skills or anything upgraded his I mean his level so yeah it's not too bad and then let's get as much of this one as get as well definitely I got any spare blue mods right so now let's the long road guys the long road they are adding a plus um one five and ten button where it automatically uses the XP which I'm looking forward to because they finally decided to bring that in after over a year of this game being out and painfully holding this button to level up all of your characters. They're finally bringing that in. Now, I need to make sure I've got enough to get everybody up to level 118. Um, I've got Duke there now. I equip all of these. So 
to, to get a map again, I just need another one of these. So I can probably, I can just do that later on. It's because that's not too difficult to get. And the skills will go up as I go through. And we need to get Woody upgraded as well. So let's go up to the top and get the rest of my um, new cars upgraded. So power, doing the power crafting is actually worthwhile because it's the only way to get the big XP potions. So it is very useful to do the power crafting and to get those big XP potions. Let's get through that. That's our main team now, let's get Woody up. Woody and Kaboom, that's gonna be a sick friendship mission. I don't think any other friendship missions were introduced at the moment. I know there'll be a few more when we get Bo Peep, um, but where's that put? It's not moved him up too high. He's only on 8,000 power, and that will also be because of his star rank, but unfortunately he can only be acquired from the Diamond Crate, and I don't think that was going to change in the update. Let's have, let's have a look. So Duke's actually getting a buff on his disc. The new disc stat gives Duke more armor, max HP. Duke's ability to heal allies is 10% better at five stars for a total of 15 healing on his max, fair enough. Guys, they've confirmed that Kim Possible is coming out. We're making these changes because even though Duke Kaboom is a new hero, his second disc with Kim Possible is not going to be available into the near future. That has confirmed that Kim Possible will probably be the next character, which will, when they drop a single character update, I reckon that's going to be that. Don't, ah, new hero locations. So new heroes, Bo Peep with Avon and Diamond Crate, Anger in the Heat Campaign, Duke Kaboom, <coughs> Will be available in the elite campaign uh, which is pretty rubbish but there we go he will be he will be available in the elite campaign um so let's go into the chat and see what people are yes, yes, people have got duke kaboom now let's put my duke kaboom up against duke kaboom i have duke kaboom exception let's have a look Roasted. I do actually generally think Duke Kaboom's going to be an insane character. And especially when you get his... Um, let's put him against that team. Especially when you get his mm, disc, which increases everything. So you can see that there. He literally just killed everybody on his own. So he is going to be good. I'm going to put all of my time and effort into Duke Kaboom. Unfortunately, he's going to be difficult to star up, but nonetheless, I want to try and get him up to orange seven, six, whatever it might be, um, and get a few of his stars up, and I can do that through the elite campaign, which will bring me to needing to try and do the elite campaign as well. So I am quite looking forward to that, seeing if it's going to be worthwhile. Um, I definitely know getting Duke Kaboom and leveling him up is going to be worthwhile. As you guys have seen, he looks like he's going to be an absolute insane character from start to finish. He managed to take out an entire team on his own just with his special move. So, yeah, I definitely recommend Duke Kaboom. Um, I think I'm going to replace Scar for Duke Kaboom when I get him to the same-ish power level. If I ever do, because it's going to be very difficult to get Duke Kaboom leveled up where he's Diamond Crate only. But he is being pushed out of the Diamond Crate. So I imagine he's going to probably come into a deal which costs money. And I'm not about that life. I'm not going to spend money on him. But it'll be interesting to see with all these new characters coming out how it shifts people's teams and because that they are they most of this game has gone down the route of every time a new character comes out they are insanely better to make you spend money on them also guys next week um, i'm going to be doing a video of two brand new disney games that are going to be released so make sure that you subscribe to my channel to check that out at some time next week and I'm going to be doing my June Android and iOS top five games so I've got a lot of videos coming out next week guys and I want you to check out every single 
one of them. They're all going to be very good. I fully recommend you use Duke Kaboom. Um, I'm Duke Kaboom. I Canada. I saw Toy Story 4 the other day, guys. It was a bit of a letdown. Let's be honest, it was a bit of a letdown. I do cannot make the jump. I can only fall. It was, it was just, yeah, it was a bit of a letdown. Ooh, let's get Hercules up. Three stars, Hercules. But yeah, bit of a letdown, Toy Story, guys. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, guys. Top link in the description merch. If you want an intro or an outro made, click those links in the description, and I'll see you all in the next video. Now, jump on the jet switching borders now. Roll me off when I was 17. Fast